we're here at gotomat.com, click on the Osbert's go to uh, rational exponents and um, I've already forgotten what we've been doing here. I think we are doing 4.1. I've got to look at something here real quick. Uh, yeah, 4.1. Okay. So we have 64 raised to the 2 thirds power. Alright, so things are starting to finally get a, little, get a little bit more difficult. 64 raised to the 2 thirds power. Okay. So we can actually rewrite this as 64 to uh, the 1 third, and all of that is squared, right? Or we could write it 64 squared, and that's actually, uh, I should have, I, I put too, way, let me rewrite that. Let's redo this. 64 squared and then to the third power. But you know what? We're not going to do that one. Cross that out. That's 64 squared. Are you kidding me? Let's do this one here because this, is, this will make that a smaller number. So let's do 64 raised to the third and then once we get that we'll square it and be done. Okay. So 64 to the third. So remember that's three numbers that when multiplied together is going to give us 64. We need to figure that out, right? And the reason there's three numbers because of this three right here. All right, what's that going to be? I think it's four. Four times four is 16 times four is 64. You see that? So we can rewrite this as four cubed. And that would give us 64. So I'm going to rewrite this as four cubed and that's all raised to the one-third power and of course three times one-third is one so we're left with four now we're not done so this here gets replaced with a four and then of course we got the two up top and four times four is sixteen so there you go okay sixteen sixty-four raised to the two-thirds is sixteen and let's see if that agrees with what I've got here. And it does. Okay, so we're over here at gotomat.com, and I'll see you in the next problem.